All right. Well, I'll go. I'll go live, and then I'll I'll continue to dick around to get everything set up the rest of the way while everybody chats. So Ryan, it looked to me I was saying to Howard as if things look a little bit less dead Three, than they did. There were more cars two, on the road. Than... I was think that's my cutoff. Three, two, one, another. Edition of Lounge Academy Lockdown, live from Buffalo, New York, as we hit the airwaves for a, for a Friday evening here with co-hosts Mary Kunz Goldman here, here in the flesh, and Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV, joining us from his lockdown position at Daffy Duck's Lounge. And, uh, and my name is Howard Goldman. I'm also the engineer. We'll be doing this for the next uh, several hours. And uh, for the next several minutes, I'll be horsing around getting, getting the streams going and all this show business stuff that has to be done. And as you guys could tell us uh, about your, uh, your week. No, notice the new screen graphics we've got this week. Little thing we, we've we're uh, exciting really news this week as we've been selected by supportlivemusic.org to be their their featured promoted musical acts uh, this week. That's wonderful. Supportlivemusic.org and that's such a tribute to us. And people could support tribute us. Tribute to, to you, Howard, and all you've accomplished. Oh well, thank and to and to you, Mary, for, and to okay, Ryan, and to Ryan, and to all of us for what we've accomplished, and all the cadets. Really, it's the cadets. It is great to be featured make, on that side. The cadet, the cadets are the meat in this sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we try to speak in quote sound biteable quotes. Is a, the latest thing we try to do all the time. We try to dream in those. So that was one you could say that was, you could quote me on that. That the, the lounge cadets are the meat in this sandwich. Howard Goldman, yeah. 20, 2020, during the pandemic. <laughs> Ryan, I was just telling Howard that I just heard on the radio, I just heard that they had just about an hour ago, they reopened the beaches in Florida and the beaches became immediately packed. <laughs> Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I guess it's nice down there. It's hard to it was, imagine uh, a different world. It by a comment by the person who posted it that said, idiots. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> Ryan, there's the uh, link. <laughs> COVID idiots. You could, you could um, hawk the link in the uh, chat box so people can, can join in. Barbara Fisher might not be box. joining. If, who, if she's oh, not yes. here, all I can assume is that she's at the beach in Florida. That will not stop her. I know. <laughs> she'll, she'll be here anyway. Or I'll be very disappointed. She posted a picture on Facebook. Ryan, did you see that where Barbara Fisher posted a picture? It was a hilarious post. I actually laughed out loud where she goes, it's not much, but it oh, makes yeah, me look great. She's I, here. Barbara's here. Hi, Barbara. Barbara. Oh, we were just talking about Barbara. Here she's here. It's Barbara Fisher. We were worried that you were at the beach. Because we heard the beaches had just reopened in Florida. And we thought, maybe I said to Howard Worthley, what if Barbara doesn't join us because she's on the beach along with everybody else in Florida? <laughs> As we hear. Of course, now, if I lived where Barbara lived, Barbara, this is, in case Barbara can hear us, I, this is what I was talking about, was that picture that Barbara posted on Facebook. Of, that is the most beautiful, uh, whatever you call it, apartment complex residence. <laughs> <laughs> that I've ever seen. That pool. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's beautiful. And the way she made that oh, joke, it's not fun, great. but it's something. you got to appreciate the small pledges here on something like that. Oh, it looked amazing. So beautiful. Of course, there was nobody in the pool. I guess maybe they're not allowed to be in the pool right now, but maybe that'll change now that the beaches have reopened. I'm obsessed with the idea of the beaches reopening. 
Meanwhile, in my own little world, as I was confiding in Ryan the other day, I actually left my lockdown and I went to Tops. And then I went to Tops again the next day. I actually went twice because I was too discombobulated the first time around to get some of the important things I had gone there to get. So I had to go back. And this was just before you had to wear masks, and a lot of people in the store weren't wearing masks, so I did not eat. But now I will. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of the first time you decide to go out and do it, and then once you've done it, you can't stop yourself. You can't, because it feels so good. good. You know, in Tops, this for Tops on Elmore, oh, it, it was, you, you had whole aisles to yourself. You know, there was just a, this big aisle. Actually, technically, under the new rules, you wouldn't even have to wear a mask because social distancing is possible. You're supposed to wear them where social distancing is not possible. And at that Tops on Elmwood, it was possible last time I was there. Hi, kids. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Missy. Missy, is here. here. Hi, Missy. Hi. Missy always looks so cozy on this dreary night here out there at East Aurora. Oh, the weather's ridiculous. Isn't it crazy? Did you, you got snow, we got snow, even in North Buffalo. We had snowing like crazy. Yeah, it's snowing outside here right now, but we had, we had <laughs> snow, it's snow snowing like two o'clock today. I woke up at, yesterday, it felt like Christmas. There was, it was sparkling on the trees and everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you might yeah, have a- My daffodils are- What? Christmas lights are on. Yeah, the daffodils are That's frozen Jack. on the Jack's here too, Hi, ladies Jack. and gentlemen. I just he see he some looks like an orange cat. <laughs> I know, he looks like an orange cat. Well, for heaven's sake, don't forget the cameras on, okay? I'm just, yeah, no, I'm just saying, you know, it's a Friday night, everyone's partying. There's cats, yeah, well. there's cats involved. <laughs> That's a beautiful cat. Yeah, Dilly's here. <laughs> I'm here. There's Jack. Hi, Jack. Oh, yeah, I see Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi there. I, I feel like half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you don't have a tie on. I don't have a tie on. Well, you're coming well, just to us a, from in just, bed. It's not Yeah. Me. <laughs> okay, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we, we had our we had our pizza wins and beer and we watched um, singing in the rain. Oh, how great! Howard and I started watching a movie last night. It's on this one movie. It's on YouTube and it's in, it's free. It would be a great lounge cadet movie to watch. It's called Somebody Loves Me, and it was made in 1952. But it's about the vaudeville era of some years before that, with Betty Hutton stars as this. We haven't watched. We only watched the first half an hour, but we're going to continue it. It's really good. You see old-time vaudeville shows on it. Somebody loves me. Well, that's what this was. That's what this was. Singing in the rain is great. Great. That, that's that's lot, fantastic. Right? Well, they're trying to make. Yeah, because it looks back on an earlier era. Mm -hmm. I love that song. All I do yeah, is dream of it. you the whole day. Although we did watch Paper Moon. Oh, I've never seen that movie. That was awesome. Yeah, we watched Paper Moon uh, earlier in the week. Tatum O'Neill. Yeah. Yes. I've never it seen it, awesome. but I, I've heard of it. Certainly, <laughs> I've heard of it. Yeah. Ryan, have you ever it seen that? It was much better than I thought it was going to be. Is it on YouTube free? Or is it on Amazon Prime? That's what I know. Uh, no, it's on... On, um, to, uh, uh, Turner. The Turner Classic? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It was uh, Peter Bogdanovich's night. Prior to was the best... Movie What's Up Doc with Barbara Streisand and Neil. Oh, that sounds fun. Was Bugs Bunny in that? <laughs> Bugs Bunny. Oops, here we are. Uh, it's before and after. It's part of the credits, but it's it's a line she says. Sort of like the pink hint. There's not really a pink hint. Right. Yeah. No, it's a very young, extremely hot Barbara Streisand. <laughs> So. Was that a Woody Allen movie? To me. Uh, no. Uh, Didn't he do a movie called What's Up Dog? Peter Bogdanovich, Ryan O'Neill, or Bill O'Neill and Harvest Tracy. It's a nice funny. time to catch up on movies. Yeah. So, Missy, you are going to skate into retirement now, right? With this? Have you 
Because you were counting the days, didn't you? <laughs> kind of yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, well, I... Where's it going now, Ryan? Actually, technically, I'm, I'm at Doc on November 14th. Oh, okay. I had a, I had a set of parents to... That's great. ...let me. And, uh... They wouldn't transfer the kid out of my room or trespass the parents. <laughs> We finally got things rolling here on Lounge Academy. We're off, got off the ground, off the runway. We'll be flying at an altitude of 20,000 feet. As we, as we cross the country of the Great American Songbook, will be passing beneath our wings. His father was a, he was a lounge cadet, a lounge cadet and, and Mike is a oh, ex officio lounge cadet through his, yes. by virtue of his I father. Think he, I think we can count him as a lounge cadet. And ex officio, that's even higher. Yes. Lounge royalty. We've got a full kebab of cadets. That's right. Along with David Corbett, how are you, sir? Nice to see you. Our own Barry Moore. Ryan does look sharp. Ryan looks sharp. Dan H is with us. He's marooned with Christine. Hello, Rachel. Lucky man. And lucky girl. Cousin Gretchen Krakow. Oh, hi, Gretchen. Is lounging. I see her holding a holding a cocktail and relaxing the way everybody should be. That's right, just in time. And our own GT, the engineer of WBIG TV, the guy that makes all these gears turn, makes it look like like it's easy. They, people have nothing else to do. Sports is canceled worldwide. <laughs> the world is really accommodating Lounge Academy lately. As we make hay. <laughs> Jack likes that. Look it took that. a while. Yeah. She ain't <laughs> That looks a lot like um, our very own Jeffrey. It really does, except for he's a lot calmer than Jeffrey. I love Jeffrey those orange cats. They're the greatest. Those orange tabbies. The greatest cat. They're supposed to be the best cats. Dilbert Syracuse. Dilbert Syracuse? That was my high school nickname, coincidentally. He's, he's, he's a really good kid to pass on things. Hey, what? It's because he's a good boy. That would kind of put me off. He's like, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Part of what we needed to figure out was he wanted to be an in and out cat that was used to being outdoors with his little kid. Oh. This owner? He's a rehome where he had to go to a, a nursing home. Speaking, care speaking of in and out cats, you can be an yeah, in and out lounge cats. cadet. Jump in and join us. Put on your tuxedo, like Ryan, and zoom in on zoom.com. There's a link. And, and, uh, someone else took the Throw some more links in there, Ryan. Keep those links going in the chat. Actually, really good boys. He gets along well with, with three other cats and two dogs. So. Have you considered having a family reunion? The other cat? And find out who has the other oh. cat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see the cat a lot better over here. 
That is a massive animal. It would be fun. The girls that play it's, 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 a, a gal on his soccer team, and one of the other gals took Sorry, I just sent out some. the other cat. Oh, this is <laughs> I sent out some so Zoom links for you guys. All you gotta do is He's click, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll instantly be transported to one of the stools around the piano where you'll relax and be part of the action on another level. A level that we call Moss Box Technology. Yes. Dan H, go on. Are you going to zoom in with us tonight and uh, hang with us for a little while with your content? Certainly in an open square. Or putting your tux on. City Hall across the street from the WBIG TV broadcasting complex. There's nobody. There's nobody across the street at the uh, Fed building there. The U.S. Attorney. So there aren't going to be any raids tonight. Apparently, usually the lights go on on certain floors if there's going to be a raid. Oh, and you can interpret these. Yeah, you learn these things after a while. So we're going to have a big celebration where we can have 10 people in the lounge academy for... 
Oh, can you imagine how we're going to... Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Like, what are we going to do? When it's going to be great. It, yeah, well, that'll be yeah. a banner yeah. day when we can do that. Who will the 10 people be? <laughs> That's right. We, I love that all the talk about <laughs> being phase I don't one. Know that. It's Gotcha, Janice. As long as you're relaxing along with us, we can't complain. David's pointing at himself. Oh, I see. He's muted. He seems to know sign We could be your musical, <laughs> your musical Alexa. Is that what it is, Alexa? Yeah, Alexa. Alexa. Play somebody loves me. Well, the bus just went by. Are they still doing for Ryan? Do you know this? Are they still no, doing? No, Barry, I don't believe you have that. I'm going to question the efficacy of that medical advice you're giving us. He says you can get coronavirus through the Zoom. <laughs> They'll be telling us that next. That's going to be the next thing we hear. You can catch it through Zoom. Zoom is too big to fail. They couldn't <laughs> possibly do that. I love how we can't, they can't get the story straight about how long it stays on the surfaces. Well, it might be up to three weeks. <laughs> Everyone's winging it. <laughs> I know, I know. And Frederick's in the audience. Frederick Conrad's with us. Oh, wow. Nice to see us, sir. Well, we have a lot of people tonight. We're having some uh, reported, not from people, but from little indications here. And we've got this uh, threatening bad internet connectivity. It keeps jumping around. In the, the indicator. COVID 19. Indicator is going from red, red to orange to green. Right now it's red. But um, yes, we, uh, we can't hear you all the time. Oh, is it, is it uh, dropping in and out? In the main studio. I see. Yeah, you're going in and out. And then Zoom tries to compensate. I don't know what I could do about it. It makes it speak very fast. Oh, <laughs> no, so it tries to catch up. <laughs> no, it's... Yeah, it catches up. So I make mean, a story, I... and then it cut out. And it would go like, no, <laughs> and then it would go back to normal. Well, I'll lower our bit rate. We're we're already like really low, which you know is what they bit rate. recommend, and usually works. We'll play this. Uh, this won't work, but I'll I'll try it. Are we going to be kicked out? Um, yeah, after forty minutes, then you come back in. Kicked out. Well, maybe when we come back in. Okay, I'm going to drop this down. It's a, I got to remember, 39, it was at 39, and now it's going to be at 29 bit rate, 2900. Oh, how did tip Dave Corbett? It's so nice of you to ask. It's, um, well, you could use uh, either the standard uh, tiphoward.com website, but we've also got a, a new, we're, we're being featured on supportlivemusic.org. It's right on our screen. And uh, we're, we're the featured act. Yeah, you know, what, a, an what an honor. And they must have made some kind of mistake. <laughs> must honest. be a misunderstanding. So, so that's on the screen this week, support live mu music. Uh, it'll play? ultimately take you to the same place with one click. Paul McCartney. I think it was McCartney. Somebody too big was on it last week and we're on it. 
Yeah, we're following. Anyone else but me would be able to name this name right off the top of their head. Is that like a restart button for Howard? <laughs> restart. <laughs> I might have to reboot. Yeah, I'm gonna. No, like you unplug it and then you plug it in again. Well, I could reboot the computer can we again. Unplug Howard and plug him back. We'll see how it sounds. I'm gonna listen to it. Maybe it's. I gotta go stand in a different part of the room. It's like rabbit ears. Yeah, like rabbit ears. We can still see them. Well, the part I'm listening to is, is fine, so it can't be a total basket case. We'll just, uh, it's, it's showing red right now, though. You can use hands gestures if you want. Give me the finger or whatever. How's the, uh, do you notice any connectivity issues? GT. Oh, I gotta wait. We're on delay. No, we're not on delay. He's on Zoom. He's real time. He's just smiling at me. He's on the mission. And Anne's holding up her glasses. <laughs> Nice to see your hand there. Thanks for giving me a hand. Everything okay, GT? The sound? He's just laughing, so. I think they're having like a pop party over there or something. Which is fine. They're in international waters, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> You can join uh, our little squares up there, our Hollywood squares, just by clicking on this weird link I'm, I keep sending with no explanation in the, in the chat. WBIG TV is sending it because it's not letting me be anybody else conveniently. Click to join on screen with us. There. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. There's the link. It's a nice short link. We shortened it up. This heart of mine. dark? Well, no, the Facebook screen is yeah. dark, and the Zoom screen is like the, a light shining at us. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. The Zoom screen, you guys are 
part of the actors on you. You just got to put up with it. Yeah, you guys are important. You don't you don't get the dialed up version. You get the pure utilitarian. Let's see here. I got Facebook right here. Looks good. I like it. It looks loungy. It's a nice yeah. picture. Nice skin tones. Yeah, I, I figured that's what you were going for. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Sorry, Barry. Barry's just full of hell tonight. He's giving us... Let's stay. Thank you. He said the picture is too dark. Oh. Our lounge tonight's a very deserted. Yeah, well, it's good to get a lot of di diverse, diversity of opinion. Time. That's right. Everybody's disappointed. And Barry does have a good eye. That's what my favorite word disgruntled. This was doing very well. to the Goldmans, sipping on my chocolate raspberry steam-pressed coffee. Oh man, that sounds good. Is that Gaia wow, who's doing this? Wow, yeah. Oh. Known as Nectars of the Gods. Man, that sounds good. Wow. Steam -pressed coffee. From now on, Gaia's going to do our coffee commercials. She can sure make it sound good. That's right. Hayes Home Roast. Yeah. Hayes Home Roast. That's another one of my favorite coffees. Right, Diane Elizabeth? Do you have Hayes Home Roast in Toronto? We have to talk to Alan and Kevin Hayes, the Hayes brothers, without they have to see if they have distribution in Toronto. Longtime sponsors of WBIG TV. strings that are just some are a little a few cents sharp a few cents flat and, and uh, tighten them up and the piano doesn't sound as round you know it, it's much it's like trimming hair before you need a haircut which nobody is doing right now you're not that it's funny I love all the jokes going around about that about hair we Luckily, will be though. I got my cut not long before Before the lights went out, I got my hair cut. Yeah. <laughs> went to super cut. I purposely got my hair cut. Just did a bare bones haircut. Just turn it around. I was in and out in two minutes, but they did. Well, I'm going to cut your hair next time. Okay. Because yeah, I'm learning how to bangs. do it. Russell Blumen, my old hair buddy. Luckily, I was paying attention when he used to cut my hair. He's cutting Ryan's hair. Ryan's hair still looks good. Look like it's getting out of hand. I've got 
some animal clippers that I inherited. How it's getting good. Oh, so for how I did talk. Is Howard going to shear you? He's gonna shear me. Yeah, the sheep shearing. Yeah, I got some attachments in, and they they fit they fit it. They're attachments for a human clipper, and they <laughs> they fit the animal model. So are they really sheep shear? Yeah, it's an animal. They're they're made by Oster, O S T E R. Oh, like the Osterizer. Yeah, really oh, great. Wow. These things are like I noticed. I was looking them up, you know, and they make a model now that's like a retro model to purposely try to look like the old one. Oh, fine. but it's not made out of the same. This thing's made out of Bakelite. It's like you've got the real. Jack just the real one. Aww, yeah. It's like Oster. It's just like sticking your head in a blender. <laughs> A My dad used to always tease us about look, uh, that we looked like sheep dogs when we were kids and our hair got too long. We were, we Ryan, how much time do we have before we have to inconvenience everybody and make them sign back in? We have, well, that's called turning the room. <laughs> I just got a warning that it's, it's threatening. However, we do have a nice green indicator light on the transmission tower. Oops, it's red again. Oh well. Maybe the new room will be better. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it affects that part of the operation though, but who cares? You gotta have a ball. camera angles tonight too. We're not just stuck with this one, although this is kind of the go-to. We've got the shoulder cam, but it's defective and the, the picture freezes. That's this one here. See how we're kind of like jumping around? So that one's kind of, we're not going to use that one a lot until that's rectified. So there's a port to get technical. It's in a bottle. Mary's drinking it. It's the port. And then here's, uh, now how do you like this one, ladies and gentlemen? The of the jury. <laughs> Here's the far cam, and notice I put the Hollywood squares at the VIP table right between the chairs. Yeah, look at that. They're see at an that? actual table, and they can see the bleak view it's, out of the front window in this shot. Yeah. Because if you look over the there, glamorous you know, view of Delaware yeah. Avenue. Yeah. And then we have uh, darkness falling over the wet, over the puddles. And then we've got the hair cam, and I even included you guys. So like when we're examining, now, considering there's a global pandemic, that, that's a pretty straight part. That is, look at, you can, you can admire it. It has a that's general, there's a general way. Someone has the privilege of admiring his own hair part. So uh, I try to do my part, <laughs> right, Barbara Fisher. And, uh, and then we've got the split cam. Oh, look at that. I think they got thrown, they're getting, in the process of getting thrown off. Maybe I, could, maybe I just have it programmed wrong for that one. I got the wrong screen beaming in. You guys were supposed to be in the lower right hand corner. How's 
that, Suzanne. This goes out to Kathy Moses and Nick. Have you killed Nick yet, Kathy? Uh oh, I think we're, are we going to get thrown off yet? Missy's got a different animal up there now. There's That's a... Jeff. What are you talking about? <laughs> Now it's a black cat. Yeah, it's a black cat. Look at the cat's eyes. Those are so cool. I love black cats. Oh, they look at me. Ryan, you got the timer going as far as what we're getting it's done? Four minutes and 30 seconds. Four minutes. Okay, we could do Kathy's song. If I look at you. Kathy and Nick. I can hear Nick singing along. I know, I miss hearing Nick sing. We're watching Lounge Academy. We're Lounge Academy. spring, but that's what spring is like in Buffalo. Spring will be a little late this year. Spring will be. I think I heard curry. Yes, yes, this is my love curry jam. It's a beautiful cat. Like the timer says less than one minute. She's a very loved That's pretty good. I lost Winged that song. Yeah, you were getting close. Yeah. What are the lyrics? Spring will be a little late this year. That's not the that's not the beginning. That's like in the song. Oh yeah, I will. You can't, you can't just whip out lyrics from anywhere in the song. It's got to be the part you're doing. Who am 
I to tell the critic I'm in trouble now. She's gonna write me up. She's gonna give me a two stars. Oops, we just lost them, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, everyone got wiped out. But people are still watching, they're just not zoomed in. No, we don't want to upgrade now. We haven't gotten enough. I'm looking up these lyrics. Revenue, yeah. Spring will be a little late this year. It's from a movie called Christmas Holiday. That's how you work this thing. Where did it go? Is this it? No. New meeting. Here we go. Join with the computer. You guys could join and be part of the show <laughs> with Zoom. It's, Zoom is like the latest thing. Everybody does Zoom. And uh, everyone's Zooming it. It's like the latest dance craze. Zoom was probably behind the pandemic. Zoom. Yeah, Zoom. Zoom <laughs> because Zoom. they made a, I mean, Zoom no one heard big, of Zoom before. Now everybody does Zoom. And now I'm going to invite people. And the way you invite people is you send them this URL in our stream. Here it is. There we go. It's amazing things work as, as well as they do, you know? It's amazing. I know it is amazing. Missy's back. <laughs> I'm going to help hide self you. <laughs> Missy looks like a painting. <laughs> She's posing for a, a painter. <laughs> yeah, she, she looks like one of those Jennifer. Dave Gorbett's back. I'd like to welcome. Yeah. That cat's eyes are beautiful. Ken Kruitzer, like to welcome you, sir, to the lounge. You're watching WBIG TV's Lounge Academy. We broadcast from the core lounge government business district, district of downtown Buffalo, New York, every Friday night, whether there's a global pandemic or not. <laughs> when there is not a global pandemic, there's people, human beings, sitting around the piano. When there is a global pandemic, People are zoomed in with us. You can zoom in by clicking on the link, and just like these zoomers are now, it's like the Hollywood squares. Is Betty? Somebody said hi to Betty. Is Betty here? There she is. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. And Mary Ryan is here. Oh yeah, I see Betty. She's sitting with George Berry. Zoom. She's not. She's not very well groomed. Well, have Nick bring that coking chair home, and he can groom you up with his barber tools. Give you a shave and a whatever. Yeah, a shave and a haircut. They'll, they'll hit you with that big long leather strap. <laughs> Things will get interesting. The Nick, stroke. Nick cut my hair that one time. How do you pronounce that? Yeah, he, well, he knows his stuff. He's been, he's been yeah, cutting hair as long job. as there's been hair. Remember Andy Jones and I went to see Nick in his barbershop? That's right. That's how we know Nick. Yes. It's because of Andy Jones. Andy. That's how we know everybody. I didn't know myself until I knew Andy Jones. Thank you, Betty. Why don't you join us? We could use a... Another blonde up there. We gotta get Paul Kakoda back too, you know. Yeah, we I don't know what the, the, the song I don't know what the deal is. Five with, minutes. Paul His Kukoda. daughters are having trouble getting him on, on the Zoom. Oh. They've been trying. Well, he's always, he, he, um, 
he's always a few weeks behind when it comes to doing stuff like this. Yeah, I know. He'll get on. It'll take I him hope a while. So. He was late to the party at Lounge Academy. He was. He, 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 he does things on call to tone at times. I think it's Barry. Welcome, Barry. Oh, you want to Facebook. Nice to see you, sir. Hi, Barry. He's hungry. Oh, there he is. I see Barry. He's hunkered, He's hunkered down in that, yeah, his palatial. That looks beautiful. Looks like the White House. <laughs> I know it does. Looks I know better. The White House, Barry. <laughs> Look how that beautiful snowy. Oh, Bill Jenkins is heading in. I, I see great. Bill Jenkins' signal breaking through from Grand Island. Enable your uh, video. Bill Jenkins. There's a little thing for that. There's a little video icon. When you first come on, it kind of watches, protects you by not having it on in case you're not decent. Jimmy Van Heusen. And we've got Barry and Bill up on the screen. Without without video. I, I know George how to, knows how to use it, but Bill, this is Bill's first Zoom. George and Ryan are the pros. Boy, they've been up, and, um, up there. Bill, if you want to have the video portion of it, actually, or the audio, there's, there's, you have to unmute the audio on the little icon at the bottom of the Zoom screen, and you might not see it because you have to kind of like move the mouse there, and then it appears. I think, right, Ryan? And then those controls at the bottom appear. It's a little tricky at first. It depends on if it's a camera, phone, or tablet. Depends on what kind of device. Every man to his own devices. <laughs> Sorry. I can hear you guys sporadically. We, we can hear you. We can hear you very well. We, <laughs> we, we no. can hear everybody except Howard and Mary. Yeah. You can't hear us? 
Good, we can talk about them. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're just gonna. The Rose Cadets would have the last. Oh, right. Rose Cadets. Here's a song that could be our Lounge Academy uh, theme song. It seems pretty fitting. Alone, together, beyond the crowd, above the world, we're not too time if they've got like the TV on or something. Brian works the door. I've been trying to, but so I don't know if it's working. A uh, GT, do you have some sort of... Is it GT or is it... Sound on? GT's a broadcast professional. He wouldn't make a... GT's kind of in his own world. Yeah. I think he's watching. He's watching another program. <laughs> That's good. He's, he's keeping an eye on. The, he's got five TVs, and he's making sure that uh, we've got the best ratings out there. <laughs> We're picking up some sort of sound. Well, we could we could we could find out by coming in from a mysterious not me, which may or may not be GT. Is it coming from? Okay, I muted somebody. Tell me if it stopped. Seems to have stopped. No, it didn't stop. No, it's gone. Okay. It's probably Missy's cat. No, no, the cats have all taken did it, off. Did it stop, Ryan? I. Somebody knew. Think so. I think stop. it was GT. G GT. We. It's GT. <laughs> we muted GT. Okay. I don't think you know. Gee, just give me the finger when you're ready to be unmuted. <laughs> later on, if you have to say something. <laughs> he knows all the professional broadcast professional hand signals. <laughs> See, this is what we like. We like people to sit back in the club chairs at the lounge and just close their eyes and enjoy the music. <laughs> you too can join the show, and this especially I, I mean, Susan, I mean, I mean, you know, Susan Farah. For everything, come on, I'll just read this. Let's go. <laughs> no, you put your hand out. There is a raise hand function in here. Susan, I just sent you an invitation okay, there. Hand. I think just do this. And then for you and, and anybody else who would like to. I mean, it's, like, there we oh, go. Yep. it's that it's that cryptic link. If you click on that, 
you will quickly find yourselves at Hang Lounge Academy in a square. In a square. <laughs> checking in during the uh, yeah, well, human he's outage. He's, he's, he's generally, he's a regular. He's got a new, he's in a new house. He, I mean, he bought a new house, so he's probably enamored of this house. Can people move new houses? I think he's busy at his home. restaurants doing do home deliveries. Oh, this day and age we're living in gives cause Thank you, Andrew. And you have to look forward more. Thanks, Andrew Halandersky, for using supportlivemusic.org and keeping the show alive and keeping us on the road. We're completely membership, we're completely contribution driven around here. On a con, I don't have any other income right now. <laughs> following Paul McCartney. That's amazing. Yeah. From Paul McCartney to the lounge. They, it had to be some kind of a hack. <laughs> yeah, <job. laughs> but hey, we'll take it. I know, we gotta get it to some of so we can show that we were featured on that. I mean, that we can have it in the publicity somehow. We're gonna do the screen yeah. somehow. Though. It is quite well, an honor. Well, it is for today, but you know, yeah. <laughs> I know, we gotta make sure we have it. If we were featured. Well, you know, he lost the rights to all his songs. Oh, that's true. And he did yeah. have some expensive maybe, divorces. Yeah. Yes, maybe he is a D more than we thought. Yeah. Yeah, he did have that, that girl, that last the, one. Yeah. The, the one-legged. 
Yeah. <laughs> took, well, she, she took them to the cleaners, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess with one, did. imagine what she could have done with two eggs. <laughs> Remember in Mary Poppins? I know a man with a wooden leg named Smith. It's sad to see somebody who yeah. wrote all those beautiful love songs with John Lennon to, to go through some of those heart, heartbreaking situations, you know, with, this, this. with Linda, first with Linda. Yeah, and I know then, she uh, died, that was the problem. Yeah, that's... Linda Eastman from... Yeah, yeah she was a... Eastman Kodak, yeah. Sharp lady, yeah. Photographer. Well, like, I mean, I'm a like photographer Phil, too. If like I Phil Pantano. She, <laughs> she was a photographer like Phil Pantano, and that's where the similarities end completely. <laughs> Pantano, we gotta get him on the show. He's a celebrity. I have Linda McCarthy split piece of recipe. It's in the oh, Rock and Roll right? cookbook, yeah. And I always love the last line of it. It's eat your lot with bread and butter. <laughs> eat your lot. Does it contain ham? No, it does not because she was a vegetarian. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, eat your lot with bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't. And it's also got George Harrison's lentil soup, which I have made. I've got to find this cookbook. It's somewhere in storage in my house, but I used to use it a long time ago. I got it at one of those, Ryan, I believe I got it at one of those Cartwright bookstores in one of the malls. I know that's where I got it. But it's well, those are great book outlets. Yes, book outlet, one of those things. It was a long time ago. It was written by Peter Frampton's wife, Mary Frampton. What's much better, George? Barry? We're getting a solid green signal now. No, no, it's red. I won't look at it. It's too distracting. I think it's time we do some. Some big intros. Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. I never heard of Matt Gordon. He was the lyricist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look up yeah. You better look him up before Paul Kakoda quizzes you. That's right. Yeah, we're going to need Paul Kakoda in the box. Think they 
they've already had it. I was wondering about that. You know, we all think like only a few people out of everybody got it, like, right? Maybe everybody. But then I, I wonder if everybody's it's thinking so super that they've, they've had it. I mean, how could we not have gotten it? I think I had it. Well, I caught something. I'm not sure, from, but. From that German choir I sing in at the last The mass. German choir. The German. Not German to be choir. Confused with German. <laughs> They're all, they all got these, these kids, they all have germs. And I was, I caught Just a garden in the rain. I've never heard that song. I'm going to have to look that one up. Or is that how you catch the flu? <laughs> I'll make it up for you, though, Dan, because I don't... Do you, have you ever heard this song, Mary? I don't no, think I it's didn't. in any of I, our books, even. This is, this is really that, stumping the band. Just a, garden, Just a garden, garden in the Rain. I don't even know if Paul Kokoda would have known that song if he was not cutting class tonight. We, we might have to make it up for you. I not see it here. Just a garden. A garden in the rain. It would be right before Justin Shigalow. <laughs> yes, yeah, it would be. It's not there. Dan's garden. song goes something like that, Dan. Jordana Helper. Wait a minute. It, now, Jordana Helper wants to know if it's really Nick's birthday. Ryan, can that be possible? I think it can be possible. He's going to have to zoom in for his party. No, this is no reason why we shouldn't be having birthday parties, Ryan. I think next I think next week we have to by next week I, we have to figure out how to resume the, the birthday parties that, as they come up. That's true. Right? How do you blow out the candles on Zoom from We're gonna have to figure I, I that out? We'd, um, postpone them all indefinitely. <sighs> nobody get nobody like the NFL? Nobody gets a year older. They just have to put it up. Came close. <laughs> So it's not quite his birthday. Didn't he just have a birthday here like a couple months ago? Yeah, he just had a birthday here. He's, he's always trying to scam us. <laughs> Yeah, you did a great job. Actually, we've got some great champions. Ryan and Missy both did great job. We got some great coloring book contestants going this way. But Melinda went surreal when they stopped that one. It's Mary Kate's birthday. That's right, because she had, you know, um, she put on Facebook that people, or there was some kind of virtual birthday party where people came into her driveway and looked at boards. And I saw that two doors down from us today, too, oddly enough, unless that's where Mary Kate's living now. I, I think they were honking at our house because they wanted us to take our garbage cans in. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder if that's a thing. I, I think people, because.
goes, these cars, there was all this noise outside. These cars were blasting their horns and they had balloons out the window and they pulled into the driveway of the rental place two doors from us. Toward to to Colvin? Yeah. I wonder if just it's a thing. Because Mary Kate then mentioned that people had done that for her. You know, where you, you come in with balloons, they have those metallic balloons out of the car. And there are like three of them all well, I think it does. It is very It was like the, the opposite thing to of do. a funeral. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it felt good to see traffic in front of a house like that. And, I, and then afterwards, you can all stay in formation and go to the drive through bank. <laughs> I guess the, the birthday person in the house must just wave at the baby. Probably, this is Buffalo, you moon them back. <laughs> Right, Melinda Miller? Oh, that's a nice line. The raindrops kissed the flower heads. Dan H., is that's a good line, don't you think, that Barry's contributing to our song? Second, Dan, Dan H. This is important. Dan H. says that Jackie always played it. That's that's Dan's song that he entered the room with. Oh, Jackie. Oh, for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, do my homework on that one. Yeah, just a garden in the rain. Yeah, just a garden in the rain. A little Google it till something. Yeah, we'll find it. Next week we'll be playing in and out of the room with that song. I've never heard that title, but I like it. Just a garden. Because and it's, we can it's a legacy it, song. We can follow it alphabetically by Justin Bigelow. His song is grandfathered in. Yes. You know, you don't you don't get to, to change songs in midlife. But if we can't find it, we have to substitute Justin Bigelow. That's one of the lyrics. So that's not okay. So that's not the actual name of the song. Oh, oh, well, Google through, again. Through we'll Google, through the it. magic of Google. Yeah. Yeah. Try Googling it, Dan, see if you can find the name of the song. Yeah. We'll give you a homework, a Lodge Academy homework assignment <laughs> to do on your own time. We don't want to take you away from the action right now, right, Andrew? Is mooning a deposit or withdrawal? No, not at the not at the drive-through bank for crying out loud, Andrew. For the drive-by birthday parties we we're talking about that. Never moon a drive through bank. Right? I wonder if that's ever happened. It's a rule to live by. <laughs> Unless that bank has a lot of really high credit card balances they're holding over you. Remember when we got mooned on the S cars on our way home from the Philharmonic? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 of course I remember. Funny. I didn't know we got mooned. Like that still survived, that people still did that. <laughs> we're driving back from the BPO, thinking we're really sophisticated, right? Because we're, we're at the BPO. We're on the S-curves. I had to get home for my deadline. I was racing Mary home so she could write her review. And all of a sudden, these crazy these kids. kids. <laughs> and we, were, we got into it with them somehow on the S-curves. I don't know what it was. You this crazy, them or something. I don't know. We, we were, were just driving. We were coming home. And they were screaming and yelling and stuff. It was really funny. And these crazy kids were being wild in the car next to us. And they, and all of a sudden, sudden, there was this, like, peach fuzz ass sticking out their window at us. Remember that? It was very exciting. And um, it was funny. We got a good laugh out of that. Crazy kids. Oh, that was the late, uh, our, the wonderful Mike Loria. Oh, he mooned from his pub. He, yeah, we got another mooning story. Let's, we could all tell our mooning stories since <laughs> somebody got us onto this mooning story thing. Um, uh, this is a story about uh, a late friend of many people, wonderful guy, Mike Loria. He, he, he uh, died suddenly. Way too young. He's a few years younger than me, and this was like yeah, a couple of years ago. Very more than yeah. So. But anyway, tell us. Any, anyway, kind of more happy parts of the story. He, would love he was a story. wild man, and a million summers ago, when everybody was single and thin, the world was young. 
my, our mutual friend who I knew him from. These, these guys were all commercial pilots. Like, you know, they fly the big commercial jets and stuff, right? And uh, his original flight instructor pal, John Bilo, oh, yeah. had this really cool boat that he bought from Rex Humbart, the, the, one of the original televangelists. It was a really great boat. And uh, this was in the 80s. And anyway, so they're boating constantly. And one night, <laughs> it, they're boating along the river. And uh, the Miss Buffalo goes by. And they all wave, because we're very childlike in Buffalo. We all oh, wave I, at each I, other. Yeah, I wave to the Miss Buffalo when I see it. So Mike Loria, because this exhibited his leadership qualities, and he began uh, mooning from John's boat, mooning the Miss Buffalo as they're all waving to, <laughs> to John's boat. It was a nice boat, too. It was a, Rex Humbard's boat. It was a really great boat. And uh, so then John Bilo, Captain John, he's an airline captain, too. He takes the, it's got the searchlight that moves around, you know? Like, <laughs> It's on the other end of the boat. So he aims it at Mike Loria's, his moon. As he's mooning the Miss Buffalo, so the thing is lit up like, like, like the moon, right? Like a full moon. And they were going wild. <laughs> I have one other moon story is that. That's a story, a, it's a simple story. Being a, the classical music, former classical music critic for the Buffalo News, I happen to know that there is a letter in existence in which Mozart described his plans to moon somebody. <laughs> oh, <I forked> <laughs> <laughs> Mozart was a mooner. <laughs> Just a Garden, oh it is, the song is called Just a Garden, Just a Garden in the Rain. Rain. And what, oh, Barry knew that song. Look, Barry knew the song because he said, the raindrops kissed the flower beds, the blossoms rained their leafy heads, lean, I, I can't, it's too small to read. A perfume's thank you, they seemed to say. Oh. So I thought that was Barry waxing poetic. Who wrote it? Waxing poetic. Who wrote it? Well, well, we'll find it out. We'll find it. We need Paul Kokoda to be done. Yeah, Mary wants to know who wrote it. We'll find it. Because that is your song, Dan. Mike, Mike Miller's with us. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. Wonderful having you in the lounge. Again, once more. No one's laughing over those moon jokes. I know, we shouldn't have gotten it. I shouldn't. Maybe they're just not as sophomoric as we are. Maybe they can't hear us. That's got to be the reason. It's got to be. Who heard us. How could they not be <laughs> happy? Look at Missy. She's just sitting She's just like looking. <laughs> what, I don't I, think they can I'm hear looking her. at Missy next to her. It says well, look, running Ryan out of time. Ryan posted his picture. Ryan's got his coloring picture. These, these pictures, these beautiful coloring book pictures for our buffalodonut.com coloring book, Ryan which, which you, can, you can download. They're rolling in these great jobs, Missy, that people are doing are amazing, and we're okay. going to... I know. Oh, I did one, and I haven't seen it on Facebook. We gotta put Yours me. is going to go up. Yeah, I'm timing them. I put a few... I, I was putting them together too much the other... But anyhow, yours is... Like John and Yoko. Remember they did that sleep-in? Oh, yeah, that's right. When they grew their hair. Oh, he's, not, he's not even in here. He's not even there. Where? He went out. He went out to get the He's pizza. Going, he went downstairs. Now we're going to get Scott McCausland's here. Elaine Gerais. Great to see you folks here. And now we're, we're going to lose the Zoomers. Cause, and then I'm going to invite everybody again. That's your chance. When you see that Zoom link come in the comments, it's this cryptic link and it says the word Zoom in it. It'll bring you in through a Zoom meeting and you could be like the Hollywood Squares here at Lounge Academy. And um, you don't have to be in bed. In fact, you could be in a tuxedo holding a fancy cocktail. You don't yeah. have to be in bed. <laughs> like Ryan. 
Here comes Ryan. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ryan he's, with his coloring he just picture materializing. We're about to get, I'd like to appear with the coloring How much picture. time we got, Ryan, before we're, the Zoomers are cut off? Two, two minutes and two minutes. 16 seconds. Oh, oh, plenty of time. This is the end of a beautiful Zoom meeting. Beautiful segment. It ended a moment ago. This is the end of a beautiful friendship. I know, for your eyes told me so. We were always like brother and sister. Till tonight, when we looked at each other, that was the end. A beautiful friendship and just the beginning of love. This is the end of a beautiful friendship. Critically acclaimed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ryan. Here they go, just in time to get cut off. Now you, all the watchers and chat joiners, you can join the Zoom thing now because I'm going to put the new link up. Here we go. Oops, I better restart the meeting though. Where is Yeah, this? all of a sudden we're all alone here. Well, we're all alone, but we're really not. I know. It's a mirage. We look, I don't see them. Here we go. Here's the new meeting. It's like getting a fresh start. I think it's the same. I think it's the same link as before. Let's see. This is the new link. Yeah, it's always the same link. I got them set so it's the same one. So I could have I could have put it in the header because it's the same one. We keep learning little things each week, Scott McCausland. You know that's how life is, right? Hey, there's Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike's with us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is great. There's me. I got to turn on. There we go. Barry's, Barry's with us. And Mike. How are you, Mike? Nice to see you. Welcome back, Barry. You got audio, Mike? Can you hear us talking? You should. The audio is automatic. You have to click to allow your audio. Which he probably did if he allowed his. I think we've had people so relaxed that they, they're just becoming non responsive. That shows we're doing a good job around here. <laughs> See, now, if, if, if these people were, if, if this was a uh, brick and mortar place, we'd be calling cabs for all these people. But not yet. Mike's 
It's nice to see you, Mike Miller. <laughs> Mike, you're on. Oh, Zoe is Zoe is connecting to audio. Oh. He's Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, Zoe's the nice to see you, Zoe. She's going to flash us, ladies and gentlemen. This, this, uh, this is the wildest pandemic I've ever seen. <laughs> well, we... You can't hear that, and they can't hear you. I don't know. Well, they're having a ball, whatever they're doing. Here's another song that... That's yeah, has to do with Mike's trying to speak. has to do with the lockdown thematically, Barry. I'm gonna write a song Thanks in lockdown. Right. We gotta write a song about I'm biding my time. That's a good lockdown song. Cause that's the kind of guy I'm one of the greatest lines in the great American yeah. songbook. Why other folks grow dizzy? I'm keeping busy. Boy, and I'm, I'm but my time. Next year, next year, something's bound to happen. <laughs> this year, this year, we'll just keep on napping. <laughs> We're biding our time, cause that's the kind of guy I'm. There's no regretting when I'm setting, biding my time. Chasing wayflies. Oh. What's a wayfly? Chasing wayflies. Chasing the wayflies. That's how the day flies. Chasing away. Chasing away the flies. Oh, chasing wayflies. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why it's good I have somebody here to explain these things to me. I love that song. I never really listened to it. Well, let's before. stand pink blob. That's nice. Yeah, I think that's the... Uh, <laughs> That's the antivirus. <laughs> this is a coronavirus. He just it's, had Moses in the picture before. <laughs> Moses was a bomb. Yeah. Oh, we can see here. He's, yeah, he's this Moses barking. barking. Yeah. Moses is Oh, this could be why we can't hear him because this Maybe Moses it's is probably, sitting on the mic. <laughs> it sounds crazy over there. <laughs> Thank goodness we can't hear it. <laughs> See, Zoom knows what they're doing. That's why they're so successful. Moses is the biggest dog I've ever seen. He's like a zoo animal. He's huge. Giant, giant dog. I see. Is that Richie? Richie's here. Thanks, Richie. <laughs> Richie. And he's in the zoo. It's Richie Sellers, oh yeah. And he's in the room. Condo. 
But she woke up this morning. He woke up in his condo. supposed to. We're doing our duty to the country by right. sitting on our ass, not paying our bills, <laughs> and eating takeout. I know. It's like, it's a, amazing it's like a dream from heaven. <laughs> right? Take out. <laughs> you know, everyone looks happy in quarantine. Quarantine. Yeah, we should bring like tangerine to be quarantine. <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> Post the quarantine. Yeah, we'll have to look that up and do that. Is it in there? Yeah. Quarantine. Yeah, we gotta find it and do it. And I Here's one. What to change this from? Come fly with me to come sit on your rear end with me. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, the liquor stores are still open. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Comatose, which is good. We want to keep our breathing rate down so we don't use up too much oxygen in the room. Ryan, you've got the mall behind you there. Bill Zimmerman, love to welcome Mr. Show Business to the lounge tonight. How are you, Bill? Bill, why don't you zoom in? Click on this uh, link I'm going to send you. And, and everybody's welcome to join by clicking on the link. Actually, WBIG TV is going to send it because that's how it's, that's how it is. Here it is. There comes the link. It's going to come rolling up there in the... And you click on that link and you'll become a talking head like these exciting celebrities that you're watching tonight. Like you got anything?
anything better to do, right? Yeah. Sounds like you got to turn the game off. Here's one then for Mary. It's for me. They say I'll move the mountain. And I'll move the mountain. If she wants them out of the way, crazy if she calls me, sure I'm crazy, crazy in love, I'd say. says, you and Mary are awesomeness, sweetsomeness, sweetsomeness. That's very nice, Andrew. And Andrew's the guy. I've been seeing Andrew in person. Thank you, Andrew. We love Andrew back, don't we, Mary? We do. I'm already dreaming of our grand reopening. That's right. We've got a great crowd tonight. You know, it's really a great night when you have an all show business audience like this. All show business. Yes, it is a great. Because yeah. when, when you entertain entertainers, it, it takes you to a whole, a whole nother level. Yeah, you're accountable to a whole new set of standards. Because as artists, they understand the pain of the creative process. Now, they promise not to turn off our electricity. <laughs> I love the thing about not paying bills. Thank you, Anonymous, for, for that nice contribution to support Lounge Academy at supportlivemusic.org. We appreciate that very much. Just as I was about to talk about um, utilities, the utilities have promised not to cut us off for three months, I think, right? That's great. I want to stop paying. Because otherwise we'd be, like, dancing in the dark, right? This is the lead into this song. <laughs> dancing in the dark. <laughs> to tune in. We need Susan Fatta to do this one. It's really low. Dancing in the dark. Why we're here Time hurries by We're here And gone Looking in the light The new love Brighten up the night 
circular breathing? No, there was one way of breathing. The circular <laughs> piano. It is Richie. Don't hold your breath for the end of that song. Here's another one that has to do with dancing, but instead of dancing in the dark, I love my ceiling more. We're gonna be dancing on the ceiling. You guys are gonna be dancing on the ceiling pretty soon, I can tell. Day by day, week by week, as we slowly transform. It's a pandemonium, pandemic. <laughs> That whole word pandemic just makes you panic. All I hear is whenever I well, hear the word panic is in it too. It's got all the letters to it, and it just makes it and pandemonium. All you can think of is pandemonium. It is. I always hear Ryan. People whenever I hear the life. word pandemic, I'm waiting for um, Van Miller to say it. Like it's pandemonium. <laughs> That's what I hear in my the head. The wheels have come off. It's a pandemic. Yeah, I know. It sounds. The wheels funny. have come off. And then you go for a walk in the park. And <laughs> Where are you, Bill Zimmerman? Are you just passing through, or are you going to hang out and do a little color work with us tonight? Bill Zimmerman's a colorful uh, guest host. He's very creative. Co-host. Guest. He is. He's a talented guy. He's got that, that broadcaster's voice. The, yeah. mic, the mic loves that voice. Bill Zimmerman dances overhead on my ceiling near my bed. Rogers and Hard Tune. It's great. Well, thank you, Ryan. Well, I've heard of it anyway. <laughs> no, oh yeah, we were thinking. What is it cutting way. out, Ryan? Is the sound cutting out? Yeah, only about fifty percent of it has been coming through. Oh, oh this sucks. Through. Maybe I should try like just doing something drastic, like it has a virus. like rebooting the computer or something, because I. Yeah, just. I think I will, because this is otherwise. You can yeah, call into this with your telephone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you're listening. Well, wait a minute. You're listening to me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're listening to me on Zoom. Right. Okay, wait, hang on. I'll bet it's going to be better now. I didn't have a, an important setting for live performances on Zoom. I think the live stream going out, the, the audio is probably fine. I think the audio is up. We can't hear okay, it. on Facebook, but on Zoom tight, yeah. only about fifty percent of it has been coming through. Oh, okay. Oh, now he's sounding kind of spotty. Okay. Through, if I, did, I just, yeah, I just clicked on something that well, I think I think will help that. Um, there's something else. You know what else I could do? There's another setting that might have changed here. Let me uh, get to it here. I love my ceiling more now that it's a dancing floor. It's funny because the audio was perfect the last two weeks, and now this week, the whole night, it's been. Isn't that out. funny? 
No, I think, no, I got the settings the right. The computer smoke, correct. Suppress persistent background noise. We want to do that. I mean, we want to disable that. I'm disabling everything. Yeah, no, that was... Okay, I did not have the original sound on, as they call it, on Zoom. So it was um, compressing and treating me like a, like I was holding the phone or something, which is not the case. So I think I, it should be somewhat better this way, hopefully a lot better. Is it, you notice the difference? You guys sound like crap too. <laughs> I noticed that. They were fine until what you did just then. Like all of a sudden he started. That's for the first time we put okay. here. No, there's we, we can all hear each other. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll put this okay. Over. That's more important. But we can't hear you. No. Oh. Here's yeah, one for Kathy can't. Moses. He said we can, they can't hear us. Okay. Well, it's like you hear every other word. Or okay. Note. Well, you, you'll hear it in the rerun then. Right. I don't, I don't know what's up with this <laughs> Zoom thing. I think that's just the way it's we, going to them. There is a, there's, there's a crummy um, connectivity issue. It's, it's like, I'm, I don't even want to look at it. It's going red, green, red, green. And normally, it's fine. And I, I did a check of the internet, you know, with the speed test, and it was, it was fine, you know. So there's just, there's something, I don't know. Who knows? Something in the air. You know, if the uh, broadcast winds up screwed up, I could always take the local recording of it and put that up as the rerun on YouTube. You know, so we've got backups of backups of backups. I, I mean, hearing from our sources, uh, the Facebook stream is coming through okay. Oh, good. Good job, Ryan, for finding that out. Thanks, everybody. It's just hard to uh, interact. Yeah, I think it's a Zoom problem. It's not a WBIG TV problem. I think Zoom is, is biting That's it. That's why I said about public toast. I'm glad we don't pay for this service. Here's one for, uh, this is for anybody out there that lives with Nick Moses 24 hours a day. Our, our buddy, Nick. Yes. And uh, who's 89. It's 89. But it is not his birthday today. Now, Ryan, wasn't it just, his, didn't we just have a birthday for like a couple months ago? Within the last couple months? Ooh, Nick? Yeah. No, Nick's birthday is this month. Oh, so it is his birthday coming up. Oh, okay. So next week maybe we should do something for Nick. Oh, I think he, I think he was here and he like hijacked somebody else's birthday. <laughs> Remember? Oh. He was holding the cake. We always would have a conflict between Nick and Hallie. It was never a... I we just realized they were the in the same, same week. Week. I think yeah. that was the night that Dave Corbin, um, Dave Corbett, was in charge of putting the candles in the cake. And he's a very creative, in, inventive man. And he took the... There were a lot of candles. And he put them on the top and then like Sputnik, he went... He put them in. Oh, that's right. He put them out sideways. So were, and I was stupid. This is my and then fault he, too, then he took, I didn't tell him not to do it. I saw it. And he lights this thing on fire. It looks like the Fourth of July, and then starts carrying it across the room and sets it on the yeah, he had piano. The on the, you know, now there's there's flaming the wax dripping on everything, <laughs> and uh, the fire sprinklers went off the whole thing. I think that's the fire sprinklers went off. I think that's the night Nick was like. Pretending it was his birthday and he fooled me. Oh. And we were singing happy <laughs> birthday for Nick. I remember that. Like, that was as the sprinklers were so going maybe off. Nick was pretending. Yeah, that was Nick. That's why it threw me off. That's why I thought we just had him. You know, and it's kind of, I see these fireworks and flames and stuff. And that's why I remember that. Right, Kathy? <laughs> Maybe seeing you in the rain. 
Right, Kathy? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise she'd be saying. 89. They're cute at that age, aren't they? <laughs> See, there must be a problem with the with the zoom because normally yeah, nobody, normally I tell a like joke it. and people barrel yeah. double over and barrel. Yeah, Missy can't even hear us because she's yeah. Too. When she looked up, she heard. She people are nice though. Boy, they stick with us even when they can't hear us. Especially, in fact, I just noticed people seem Mike's to stick around longer patiently. when they can't hear us. Yeah, I know. Mike's in this big lounge chair. I know that chair. <laughs> That's a great chair. That Mike's always in. We have a captive Ryan's audience. Ryan's there with his coloring picture. I can't wait to do the new picture. We'll have to post the picture on the lounge account where people can try it. Oh wait, I gotta try this. Even though I don't want to take a break, I'm gonna take one. Watch this. I could take a break now. Now, you, everyone could keep talking and, and the, the mic is still gonna be live in the room. But we're gonna keep... I'm gonna take a break just because I can. I'm oh, yeah, he wants to show this technology. Like, just for, just for a few minutes. Watch this. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. See, now I can still I can still see the Zoomers, and they can now the Zoomers can still see because <laughs> they're, they're they got the inside connection to the show. Yeah, I'm waiting for whatever it is you did to show up on Facebook through the delay. Normally, I tell a joke. Oh, I was able to hear myself coming back through Zoom. How exciting! <laughs> Sure. So can see, they hear us? They, they can hear us there. and see us. They can hear us, you guys. But the streamers can only... Oh, but they can only talk with each other. Yeah, I see. Like, Missy comes to life all of a sudden. <laughs> Zoom is really bad with the vendors. Okay, I don't know what the situation is. Oh, but now we can hear them. How much time we got on Zoom, Ryan? Mike's Five drinking minutes. red wine like me. Oh, wait, I gotta try this, even though I don't want to take a break. I'm gonna take one. Watch Is this. Somebody I'm take a break now. now oh, it's at delay. Oh, I'm hearing the Facebook audio. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, now I don't hear anybody. Can they? Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Good. I'm glad my big mouth is broadcasting throughout Buffalo and yes. the suburbs. So now we can have a conversation during the intermission. We can talk about Howard the Ice Bear. Now, Missy, can you hear us? Uh, Missy doesn't look like she can hear no, us. No, that must be you, Mike. Are you watching the Facebook stream with your audio on? Oh, now Mike got frozen. Uh, no, that's uh, the computer in the other room. I've got the laptop. Can they hear us? They can hear us and see us. They can hear us. <laughs> I love the noise. This is chaos. Today. I know it is chaos. But I do have the Yeah, your Facebook stream is coming into Zoom. Your audio from your Facebook is coming into Zoom. Go okay. back to the Facebook oh, that on the actual Facebook bit. There's a volume. Click it and it'll go off. Okay. okay. So now we have. But you're only listening to it through one tab. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so one minute delay, or you can listen to it on here and only That's get 50% of it. 
Whichever you prefer. <laughs> So normally we didn't have this problem the last couple weeks. So if you had joined us for one of our previous Zoom experiments, it went very well. So don't be afraid to come back. Oh, no. I'll get the, of course, they're all of my own making, so. Well, no, not, not the um, audio problem. How many minutes yeah, we got pretty, before we get cut cool off? Audio. We have uh, six minutes and 30. Okay. That's way more time seconds. than I'll need to, finish, to eat this ham sandwich. I heard something about a ham sandwich. Can you see me over here? Uh, over, I'm yes. Over, I'm over by the bar. Here, watch this. I'll signal you. I see you. Like ship to ship. Yes. Is that uh, some leftover for Easter ham? It is. It's a spiral ham. Wonderful. I've got some pizza, too. Oh, yeah, that pizza looked great. Is it a spiral pizza? <laughs> the problem is, and it's torture, if I eat the pizza, my singing gets, like, way even worse. Must be the cheese. I think yeah, I wonder. I could never remember if dairy is good or bad for your voice. I think it's bad. Because I used to hear people saying stuff about it. I mean, it's unbelievable singers. how bad yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay, so, I was thinking. I but was as soon as we're done with the show tonight, I'm going to stick a slice of pizza right in my mouth. On <laughs> camera? I'm ready. Well, after the show. I could do it on the show if people you know, request that. I think Melissa. Well, you can do it right at the end. You're done singing. Well, I could, but I have to, I'd have to take the piece out and then nuke it and put it on a plate. I love that intermission thing, the way it says 15 minutes. But I'm kind of running out of ham here. I'll have to make another one. We have another one. Yeah, ham was the Easter. The Easter ham. I'm going to take this opportunity to perform my wine. That's, <laughs> That's a fun. good thing to do. Yes. I just did too. That's what yeah. intermissions are for. Yeah. You could rearrange yourself. <laughs> so I, I heard an interview on the radio with the guy who owns Rick Cohen, who owns the transit drive-in, and they were talking about opening the drive-in. But I guess they have to get some kind of clearance as an essential business they can't open because they're not essential. Something about the dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I only heard half of what you said, Ryan. Something about the dry. <laughs> We're not communicating well tonight. <laughs> we are gar. Verbally. <laughs> this must be what we sound like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are garbled. Gar. Do you fake that, Ryan? We are gar. Mold. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really it's a shame that it's doing that. I think you faked it. Well, let's see. I'll uh, I'll watch this. Just like that, we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we're all together again. This is a new feature that you're seeing for the first time, where I can press a button and take a break, and and it's kind of neat because. The, the Zoomers could keep talking, and we could, we could still see each other, because they're like, they're like actors as part of the set. It's like they're literally here. It's one of the virtual brick-and-mortar reality things to where... Yeah, we get, you get a special behind-the-scenes view. You do. And we're going to be running out of... 
attacking seconds. All right, then we'll. Oh. No, it's just it's the same link every time. It's a it's a static link. So you just, so you just have to wait for me oh, to, it is. to okay. just get in here and, and re up the, the deal. And uh, okay, so we can just go right back in. In fact, I why don't I just stop it and start it? So oh, just yeah, just do it just at that time. Same right. link after we get kicked <laughs> out. Just here, I can, oh, here we go. Okay, okay I'm going to end it and then start it. Goodbye. We're having those positions tonight. And Ryan's we're back. By Ryan's back. Yeah. yeah I'll put the uh, <laughs> with the Saigon Cafe. Tomorrow is Barry's birthday. I see on here. Oh man, the week. Now we we got Is Ryan's birthday, birthday at the same. Ryan, we got we got to figure out how to get the. See, we should be having birthday parties, like we normally do. So we we got to get those birthday parties going again. I don't I don't know how. But. <laughs> and a hand has to reach out on people's computers okay, so. and hand them a piece of cake. watching Lounge Academy because it's Friday night and we're in Buffalo live streaming having a ball and Rosemary Flores is with us from oh, California my, my, my buddy that I made on Smule she's a wonderful singer a wonderful lady and she's an innovator in how to go out and shop at the grocery store germ free oh she is it's Rosemary Flores what's yeah. her advice for us well, she put this on Facebook and showed, showed her friends how to do this. She took, in fact, people were, were getting out their cameras and taking pictures of her in the grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> Why? What did she do? Starting at her feet. Now, this, this was clever. She took white, um, like, trash can liners. I want to go on a hazmat suit. And, and she put them up and tied them around her legs so, so her shoes would never touch uh. the earth, right? And then... Um, she had, she had a mask and some things going on, and then she put this. This was her, do that garbage bag. This was innovative. She had a clear plastic bag, like over her face, over her head. Right. Who, who is this? Ro Rosemary Flores. She's, she's a smule buddy of Howard. She's she's watching right now. Yeah. From California. Howard sings with her when Yeah, she's my sing smule. one of my singing partners. I'm okay. Smule. Like smule. And she's a really good singer. And. She, she had the mask and some goggles and stuff, and then a plastic bag, a clear plastic bag, like a hood. And she said it actually got really warm in there. I guess, I guess it would. Plus being in California. And, and then she had this... Um, so she's encased in plastic? How does she breathe? Some Let's kind of bodysuit on. And she did all her grocery stuff. And in the video she made, people were laughing and taking pictures of her and stuff, joking around. Now, that, now that's something because right now you go into a grocery store and everybody's yeah, everyone's they're very sour. They're uptight. Yes. Right. They don't want to stop and chat and take pictures. Yes. They're they're, they're like Mike in there yes. with with that bra on his face, that D cup. <laughs> oh my! God. <laughs> yeah, it's got the Playtex one, living mask. That one yellow. I, mean, I like it. Yeah. I like it. I saw. Remember one of the first. Things we saw about the coronavirus was the that citizen journalist footage from Wuhan, and it showed the one guy doing his shopping wearing a dinosaur suit. Oh yeah! And people were kind of cheering him when he walked in, getting <laughs> buying his bottles of pop or whatever. <laughs> and he's in a dinosaur suit. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> it's been a little warm in here. <laughs> I was just kind of had a scarf tied around my face when I, I like to half the people you see. I don't have a mask. They have the mask on top of their head or underneath their mouth. Yeah, yeah. Party mask. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how the politicians do it. professional right. looking mask, but Mike's got, now he's got it on top of his head. <laughs> it is on some time. COVID mask. That's a great party mask. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I have some party masks. 
I could just use those as masks. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. Well, well, save those for the birthday parties, Ryan. We're going to need those for the birthday parties. What about birthday parties? You could we use your hats for the birthday parties. Oh, oh maybe. for the virtual ones or the real ones? No, for the virtual. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't work for a virtual because they're real. We need moss box type of birthday party. Maybe maybe we should have a real cake, Mary. Okay. We can't, and have it here and light, we eat it light the candles. And we eat it. You know, so so it's like as as real as possible. Maybe we you can, can make have it. Dave Corbett come over and put the candles in for you. And start the place on fire. Outside and then uh, pass it right back through. We could have a party in the booth. A foggy day in London town. It's charm. Thought I heard a bottle open. Yeah, I thought I heard something drop. Could this thing last? The age of miracles and past. When suddenly I saw you there. A lovely London log, the London shining everywhere.
When you're in my arms, I know why. Wives. Ryan, you've got to go to a store wearing that thing like that. That is just <laughs> too great. Go to Dash. <laughs> song somewhere that's another good request I'm through with love song, but, I, but I've got part of it in my ear. I know it. Da, 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 a lot of people use this. Just yeah, it's just a weird look.
need to apologize, Dan. That I'm I'm glad you hit me to that song. I've got a hey, here's the I, blues. I'm I, looking forward to playing it. That's a great song. There she is. The guest oh, guest artist. <laughs> having a party over there. <laughs> I got up and I forgot to refill my wine. That was oh. perfect. Linda, what are you with your dad? Oh, the one like this? Yes. Dan, you know your, you know, I like your taste in music. I love the songs you pick. A few and fewer people know these songs. Even me, as I'm proving tonight. Oh, I, I, I have this on over my head, but I don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Linda's getting nuts. That's what we like to see in a pandemic. It's pandemonium. Had the craziest dream last night. Classic sounding song, Dan. Yeah. You know, I like that song because it has kind of an old vaudeville kind of quality to yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah, you didn't like it at all. Yeah, it's cute. And you just have that one mask? I'm a vaudevillian at heart. I may be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. I think you're swell. I 
could give you anything but love, baby, that's the only thing I've plenty of, my baby, dream a while, scheme a while, you're sure to find happiness and all this. I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets, whoa, they got in trouble. Doesn't sell, my baby. Till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, baby. I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell. Till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, well baby, I can't give you anything but love and toilet paper. I can't give you anything but a little L. Jolson from Melinda Miller and David Vernon. That's a great song. Hi, David Vernon. David Vernon's in the house. Maybe he'll zoom in and do a song with us. That'll be a good test of Zoom. It seems to be working a little better now, the Zoom. Yeah, I think it might have. I think some of it. They get like 20 million new people a day on it. It's amazing it works. Yeah, that's kind of skip. starting to go up into Let's do this one day together, David Vernon. Yeah. I've got a crush on you.
time it's worth my foolish heart. <laughs> what else do we have in B flat? Well, I heard about 20% of our other books. Okay, Mario, feed me the words to this one, the way it looks tonight. song, David Vernon, but we don't, I don't think we've got the chart for that one. How's it start again? I don't know that song too well. That's a, that's, that's a newer song. Yeah. It's from like the so. 60s or something. Yeah. It's a model for us. Up for a few months. 
get locked up with somebody who's happy. It's not I a can't problem believe here they have these Academy. props lying around the house that they can bring out like this. Those are amazing. Ryan, what is that thing? You gotta be prepared. <laughs> Mike Scott. <laughs> Ryan, how much time we got before the re... Um, here, I'll just redo it. I don't oh, have okay. to wait. <laughs> but at this juncture. At this juncture. <laughs> that thing is so funny. <laughs> I love those things. Monsters. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll redo the Zoom so you, everybody could just enter again using that same link. And, and everybody else is welcome to join at the same time. <laughs> I'll repost the link. Join us on Zoom. <laughs> okay, that's the link. But don't do it yet. Do it in like a minute. easy. Yeah. Here comes Ryan. I'm back. <laughs> Ryan's here. Nice to see you again. The bike's back. Okay, we got a request going out to the fabulous David Vernon. you 
started out healthy. Are we meant to take more than we give? David and Bert Bacharach. You cannot say Bert Bacharach's name without also saying the name of Hell David. What a great request. Thanks for requesting that, David.
I was a kid, Where I always could shines. find the moon in the middle of the day. My parents would laugh about it. I would always, I would point up and go, moon. No kidding. Yeah, that, that must mean something. <laughs> I see a David coming on the screen. Is it? Maybe it's a David Bryan. Bryan. Maybe it's a David Van Stone. It could be David Corbett's. We'll be surprised. Call me irresponsible. Call me unreliable. Throw in on. Sammy Kahn and Zachary Jenny wrote that song. I'm trying to lose my mind from seeing all these people here that are cooped up. I'll always remember this time in our life, you know. With, I mean, assuming that it doesn't repeat itself, which I'm we'll not always <laughs> remember this, time in our life. this groovy time in our lives. <laughs> All alone together These groovy times Some fun new songs in here. Stars shining bright above you. Wish we were leaving the evening folks. <laughs> Too bad it's in this key. It's a great song when it's just a little higher. Stars shining bright. Above you, night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore trees, dream a little dream of me. Say nighty night and kiss me. Hold me tight and tell me you miss me while I'm alone and blue as can be. Dream a little dream of me. Stars fading and I linger on, dear. Still craving your kiss. Just saying this, 
bigger writing. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dan H. Do ya? That's a great song to sing to the kids. That's a great song. I should have pressed the button. Hang on. Get my other glasses. I'm going to press the button. This performance. Birds singing in the I see a song in here called Dreamer's Holiday. A Dreamer's Holiday. Let's see if I have better luck with these. <laughs> Not really. That's even worse. That is so cool, yeah. Ryan, how you have that coloring picture behind you. It looks so cool. It looks like you're right yeah. there on, the, on Lance Diamond Way. Good job. I love that chart. Puppet on it, sleepy and yawning. Oh, wow, you got me so psyched. I'll, I'll post it tomorrow or something. I got another one. Ready to go. Then I remember your mind then. I've got a world that's great. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch the clock at eight. Then I remember mind and I've got a world that's great. Adam bombs, Cape Canaveral and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings. Cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me of mine, and I've got a world that swings. Adam Bonds, Cape Canaveral, and Floss Alarms. Up in arms, so I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you love me forever, I've got a world that you've got a world that we we've got a world that swings. We've got a world that swings. That's from the Nutty Professor. That's a great song to think that it just comes from a funny nice song. Movie, movie. It's just a really good song. The world's greatest lounge I love that entertainer. The string, string reminds me of your mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that must have been a hit song that year that I got the world on. Good thing he was wearing it. Not a yeah. Thanks, Dan and Christine, for supporting the Lounge Academy TV show. and. With that endowment, it, it assures us of years of programming. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you. And I'd like to thank the people at supportmymusic.org for choosing us this week um, to, to be their their focus of their of their what would you call it? In their philanthropic musical awareness. Who knows? They may have liked it so much that they'll uh, choose us again. It could happen. Uh, we might be on next week. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to seem pushy. Um, but yeah, supportlivemusic.org. Gotta love them. We're their featured act this week, and um, <laughs> and and that's how your your tips and support get get through us through. Now, of course, they take ninety percent of it because they're they're a not for profit. The part of the part of the world global organization. 
No, it's very. No, they're they're very, we get we get it all. Once I left, when I heard you say that I'd be playing solitaire. A lot of people are playing solitaire. <laughs> so many beautiful and and different sounding yeah, songs. Yeah, they're unique. Yeah. You know, they, they, they got a little thumb print in there, you know. I know. But, um... Yeah, they're unique. Yeah, they're pretty songs. They aren't... Yeah, nothing sounds like the others. It's great seeing Kim Mancuso Oaks relaxing tonight. It's really nice. Flipping through the Lounge Academy with her cocktail in one hand or pet in the other hand and just... Joining us here in Buffalo, where we do this every Friday night. We've been doing this for years, but we just started live streaming about a year and a half ago. And there's usually a whole bunch of people here that that I never invite, but they show up. Different people every week. It's it's amazing. The best people, right? Showbiz people, people that that love music and love the old songs, and they fill up all these seats around the piano and they and the VIP table and they just have a great time and right now they're quarantined no, 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 and it's just me and Mary Kunz Golden here in my co-host and we're here and we we got things uh, it's funny because people aren't sick but they're quarantined Zoom meeting <laughs> people are with us yeah. just like they're here and uh, chatting and requesting. It is, you know, it, it, it really flipped me out last week. Last week we had a whole, last week was a big, big week. We had like a ton of Hollywood Squares people up there like all night. But I was here. And you weren't here. Yeah, but you had a big crowd. And that's what made it weird, you know, and is I'm here all by myself and there's this big party going on for three and a half hours. <laughs> I went nonstop and all kinds of people came and went singing duets David Vernon and uh, it was amazing Ryan last week with all the people this you know it's the first time we zoomed like that and, and Mary wasn't here and I'm and after three and a half hours the show ends I kill the cameras kill the lights and it was the weirdest thing that probably you know unique to the history of mankind the hey, sensation I had that all of a sudden I'm alone in this dark mansion downtown, which was dark, nothing else was going on. And I mean, if you tried to explain this situation, wait a minute, 
I was just at this big party with all my friends, and all of a sudden it's gone, and they were never here. Tangibly, it tangibly, they were never here. You know how yeah. can? Yeah, it was really a weird feeling. Like I was, like if I had tried to explain this to even my parents, you know, who haven't seen smartphones or anything, you know, in their time. Or, or people that had occupied this home 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 150 years ago, it would be like, the only way they could relate to it would be that this house was actually filled with spirits. You know, that there was like a party of ghosts. How could you possibly explain it, right? It was really weird. I mean, I really felt like I'd experienced something that few people in the history of mankind could have, you know, obviously never experienced that. Because I forgot you weren't here. It was like we had a full house. Yeah, last it was wild. Was great. It's an amazing time we're living in. Right, James Fox? And I, you know, I even, like, I was on my mind. I walked out to the car to go home. And I turn around, and I'm looking at the house, and it's just this dark place on this dark street downtown. And I'm thinking, if somebody saw me walk in here earlier, I'm, I'm just alone, walked into this empty building. Three and a half hours later, I walk out of the empty building. What went on in this empty building? It's like it doesn't it doesn't add up that I was at a party with a piano bar and a whole room full of people and all kinds of song requests and people singing along and coming and going and drinking. Is that isn't that something? People from all over the world. People from all over the world. Yeah, we had Denmark was here, Vicky. We, Vicky closed the place. Yeah, it's kind of quiet. She was up till four in the morning in Denmark, hanging out with us. Hi, Peggy. Peggy's here. Nice to see you. Thanks. Thanks. You're watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV. We're having a ball. Nobody's here except me and Mary. And we've got people. You can join the party. Um, you can just you can chat. You can. Give us the thumb or any finger you want. Or you can click on a link that's in the chat. I'll put the link in again. There it is. The link will come up in the chat. And if you click on that, you'll, you'll find yourself in a Zoom meeting at Lounge Academy with your own camera that you'll be watching that nobody else can see that shows the whole set pretty much here. And you'll be seeing and being part of the show about 45 seconds ahead of the rest of the world. It's, it's like changing time dimension as well. Dan's here. Dan and Christy.
what they used to be. masks off. It's funny how any song could be made to fit a pandemic. Right? It's funny how that works. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I had, I had the crummy sound on. Did it sound okay? I just turned on the right sound. The sound itself sounds better now, but it still uh, cuts out. Yeah. But we. As long as it's only a Zoom issue. You hear it, it sounds better. Because it's, it's a sacrifice we make for the for the audience. things telling me this last segment went so fast I've been having so much fun I'm just getting my momentum I love pandemics give me a pandemic like we are the world and we're all sick
What was that, Dan? He's gonna That's putting a positive spin. It is. Well, you know, there's... And then there's... I mean, the way it worked out... We like to stay positive. The way it worked out, when we're all, like, you know, dragging ourselves to work and, you know, putting up with the boss and paying our bills because we're expected to pay our bills again and everything, we're going to be looked back at this and say, man, if I could have just one more month of sitting on my ass and not having to pay the bills and eating takeout, having Lounge Academy, playing with my ham radio and my tennis racket, you know, it's not so bad. If you got, it's like the old thing, you know, if you got your health, you got everything, right? So, you know, if you're feeling good and you can sit home and do whatever the hell you want, walk the dog, I don't see the problem here. <laughs> right? You're just being a hero. Order a kick up. Dude, it's, it's expensive. Yeah, Stay home. I got a beautiful pizza waiting for me in, in the refrigerator. I bought it. It was like a drug deal going out there. I parked in the middle of the street. Traffic going around me on both sides on Niagara Street. The guy runs out to the Crown Vic. Crazy. I, I popped the trunk up. with that big round keyhole trunk button that Crown Vicks have on the door. Trunk pops open. This guy knows what to do. He, he looks in there. Inside. The cash is sitting there pinned underneath the jack. <laughs> really? Is that where it was? Yeah, I didn't want it to fly away, so I pinned it under the jack. And you told him that? You no, he figured. He, oh, okay. I knew this guy was. He knew. Okay. This guy knew it's. He knew the drill. He, he knew. We didn't have, you know. It's just like, you got the stuff? Yeah, you got it. Right, right. And then he drops the pizza in there, holds it up. He says, you want your change? I said, he's standing in the middle of the traffic, right? It's like, no, that's yours, you know? He's going, yeah, man. And then I sped off, peeled out, right up Niagara Street, barreling right towards City Hall, you know, when you're on Niagara Street and you're just heading right to... Niagara Square's dead ahead, City Hall. Made it back here, it was still hot. I used one hand to hold the box. That became the contaminated hand. <laughs> okay. I had everything else all set. I flipped the lid up with the end of a knife. You know, the big pizza box. I grabbed it with the clean hand, put it on a plate, nuked it, just to give it a little extra heat and Maybe a few stray viruses would get nailed in the process. And opened it up, washed my hands again. Perfect. I had I had pizza in my face. And the problem with this is what? Yeah. I'm sitting here downtown, all of downtown to myself, right? No traffic. It's great. Yeah, we'll definitely remember this time. <laughs> I got my weekly takeout today, deposited into my trunk. What did you get? Oh, nice. My weekly. Your weekly what? Weekly takeout from was deposited into my trunk, contactless delivery. And uh, this week I ordered their special. Oh, I'm not hearing all of, of um, Well, it's uh, an unknown wine. They give it to you wrapped up in white paper. Wine. You don't know what it is. Oh, is this Paradise then, Wines? It's kind of like a blind date. Tomorrow, you're going to be doing a blind tasting. Wow. Oh, well, fun. An Instagram live. I did curbside pickup from Premiere. It was really good. And you will taste it along yeah, with they, the smell. They will tell you about the, the tasting notes. Curbside pickup. Curbside pickup is the greatest. Yeah, you just go in and you pop the trunk and they you pull into the parking lot and you call them and they come out and deposit whatever you want to come. Pandemics is a many splendid thing. <laughs> it's the April rose that only grows in the early spring.
are silver linings in every cloud. We need some Jolson for that. No, oh, yeah. Huh? I mean, just today. I mean, this is talk about you know having all these weird kind of you know emotions lately. Not you know just because of the observations right. that I'm making, like being all alone downtown and being at a party and there's nobody there. There's your today. Response. Today I read in the paper that plans for a convention center are kind of like scotched officially on like permanent hold what did they say in the thing Ryan they're they're, they they're just momentum. there's they're not you know they're not moving forward they're not moving forward at this time at this point in time, though they are not a priority and, uh, you know, they are not going to be pursued uh, because, let's see, the state is totally broke, the county's totally broke, the city's totally broke. I'm sitting here eating pizza, I'm fine. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so they're not, they're not going to they lost interest in like demolishing my house to put it in, or moving the house, which they very very nicely offered to do. I, I'm giving them that. I'm, you know, I'm not taking. Yeah, it. I think a lot of people are. I'm just going with the finding flow. That things that were going on are just disappearing now. A lot of the plans don't make any plans now. What about the Skyway? They were gonna they were gonna ruin the Skyway, which the people I'm down here among. The people, people that work and smoke downtown. Smoke downtown. <laughs> that work and smoke. And they, they didn't want that Skyway to go away. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of great reasons people have because they don't bang their head on it when they're trying to, <laughs> somehow it's in their way when they're trying to get to the waterfront. Yeah, what is it? It's in nobody's way. But uh, I, I love the Skyway. I do too. I love the Skyway. You don't bang your head. <laughs> well, they say it blocks them getting to the it waterfront. Doesn't. I mean, the thing is like 100, 200 feet up. I don't yeah, know how to block it. That's the whole idea. That. Ships yeah. can pass under it yes, you know, without being do. blocked. Yeah. But, um, I love that, Ryan. I love that. But anyway, they're, they're screwed. They're not going to, they're not going to, you know, this stuff's yeah, going to be put off until the next, next generation of politicians is in, right? The next generation of people are living in all these buildings and arguing about it. So, I mean, you, there's never, never say never. And, and nothing could get me. I know we've been playing, but there's also been another audio sound trick going on. Can you watch? Oh. Yep. That's probably because Richie had the thing on or something. Let's see. Okay, now we'll uh, we'll bring it back. Bring it back. Look for the silver lining. All right, it's like 10 minutes too. Can I turn, I'm turning into a pumpkin. Can I oh, yeah, okay. Oh, it's almost quitting time. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'll stay. Here's a link for anybody that wants to get in here. And Welcome then, back, Zoomers. Here's a great Psych Holman tune by request. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain. Richie Durwall, the great. I've got some habits. Even Richie Durwald can't explain. Could start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and I'll daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes, there they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends, leave the keys in the door. Why, why try to change me now? Why? 
Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. Try to change me. Why try to change me? Why try to change me now? Richie, click on the click on the Zoom link and join us. You could be a talking head. Right on Lounge Academy. Shaft. It's for Barbara Fisher and Richie Durwald. Wow. Richie Durwald time? Too great. I signed in at Mount St. Joseph Academy when he was in high school. Did you really? Cool. He's wow. Mr. Show Business now. Richie Durwald. He came over, he brought a guy with a gorilla. Put on a great show. Mr. Fitness. What was I going to do again? Oh, yeah. Here's one. It's about a one night stand. Don't misunderstand.
came out. He compared don't misunderstand quarantine against open public mobility. He found no difference in contagion in the Wow, well, that's interesting. Well, I guess Sweden is like Barbara Fisher likes shafts. It's saying hi to Richie. Barbara Fisher is saying hi to Richie. show again like I always think and then you guys take me right right to the end of the line it's great speaking of the door I gotta go I gotta go lock the door watch this though I can do this and lock the door we got a break screen I love it will you let me in no you like going to the grocery store, really? No, it's allowed into the lounge academy. I see. Wow. But you can go to the grocery store. I do. I do like almost like three, four times a week. I take a walk just to get out. My brother won't go to the grocery store. He's having his food delivered. So is my niece. It doesn't matter if you go now. Oh. I used to go now. For sure. <clears throat> At the beginning, I didn't want to, but now I do. Christina Epps. You can't keep Christina Epps cooped up. She's uncontainable. That's why she still makes it to Lounge Academy. It's Christine Apt.
Thanks, everybody. time we do what needs to be done here. Yeah, it's getting to be close to my bedtime. It's time for Richie uh, to, to honor us with a beautiful rendition of the United States favorite song. The National Anthem. Close your big Thank you for all the hearts, Barbara Fisher. Some some back. Friendo, so we can come in from Thailand. You got a ham radio guy from Thailand? Richie? You got your, you got oh, your. My friend Kenny, he lives in Thailand. Oh, okay, all right. Um, you got your harp ready? Ryan's ready. Oh yeah, I got this zoom cam on. I hope, I hope the audio was clear. It can't be any worse than. It's, oh, it seems pretty good. I think it fixed itself. WBIG, Buffalo, New York, USA. Good job, right out. Great job, well, Richard. Sounded, all week for you, brother. Brother. Thank you. Sounded great. Yeah, the Zoom was great. The Zoom meeting was breaking up. You know, it's amazing how we had all kinds of things, man. We, Lizzie was hot. We could beat our chest here. It's amazing how we we got through the night. Even though the thing was flashing that there's a bad internet connection, we get through the night, as far as I know, we had no problems, right? I did I did dumb down the bit rate a little, so the picture quality is gonna be a little lousy tonight for the rerunners. But other than I don't that, know what you just said, but I agree. You said you made it through all this uh, we, we made we made it through problem. we made it through three and a half hours, really with no no glitches. As far as I know, the signal got out great. We got all this stuff going on here with nobody running it, right? Yet Zoom.com, they couldn't have their act together, which I, I could, I understand technology, but it, it's like they're the ones that couldn't keep it together tonight and their signal was lousy, right? Yeah, we. Yeah, the signals on. We we were juggling like who's stable. Look at all the stuff we got going on here. You know, I mean, we got like the camera, different cameras going. We got the audio. We got you know playing music. We got we got break screens, tips coming on. We got all this stuff going. It's really on. coming together. It's really coming together. It's going to be a lot more. 
coming together too because we're really uh, we're really going to move ahead trying to trying to move ahead with this pandemic you know because people need more entertainment they, they can't get here you know so we're we're we're, we're developing the world's takeout of lounge piano how's that yep people need this takeout service and also a way to get them here electronically it's not just so that they can actually teleport and be here as much in their minds as they are in my minds like last week when I was here by myself and then it ended and I was by myself and the place all of a sudden all these people vanished and were never here they were just light and sound with no corporal body right Rich? Absolutely. So isn't that amazing? People are here at the piano bar. Just their minds and images and sound. How many people do you see? Just just you and, and, and uh, Ryan right now. There's only Ryan and I. Well, I mean, through the course of the night. The last, last, last week we had a ton. We had like how many people? We had a we had a lot of people. All right. Well, we'll um, I'll let you guys go, and I'll get I'll get to the pizza. What's that, Richie? I don't see everyone that's been. Oh well, it's only the three of us right now, but. Well, there's four there's people, people coming and going. But there's there's four people watching the stream. Last, uh, I think this week was a magical week. 20 people, right? Sure. Last week we had 20, solid 20 at once, like the whole night. And, and that's with a lot of turnover, you know? I mean, that, that was, people just said, not, that's a lot for us. I mean, because we go three and a half hours. That's unbelievable you can do all that tonight. Yeah. I think some people came into Zoom tonight and they left because of the issues. It could be. Yeah, yeah, you have, uh, yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate when you have uh, bad connections. I don't know. I don't know if it's related to that um, issue that's showing up on my end where the bit rate is kind of sporadic, but um, it doesn't seem to be affecting. stream I don't think it's to do with the connectivity it's not stable I mean I got it running I mean there's we yeah but I mean I, we're, we're buffered a little bit you know well everybody's using this now oh cool our captioning is working our closed captioning is working Ryan oh wonderful yeah I wanted that to work this week because that way, I purposely, I purposely try to balance the sound for the same experience that we have here when there's just people in the room. So when, you know, if I want somebody to hear them, if somebody's talking and they want to talk to the room, then I, I, I quiet down with the music. But when I'm playing at a normal level or normal levels, people can't hear each other unless they're talking near one another. You know, you have separate conversations going on in the room. And that's the way I try to treat the Zoom. So when I'm playing, the people watching the stream aren't going to necessarily hear exactly what you're saying, but they're going to hear the din of that there's a cocktail party going on. There's people having conversations in the background. The Zoom people are, are those people in this case. Um, but it would be nice to where they could make it out if they want to. And that's where I thought the closed captioning would be, you know, add another element for them to to keep your interest. I'm, I'm reading, I'm seeing me. Oh, cool, our yeah, captioning. Unless somebody's saying something bad. 
Well, that's even better. That's even better. It really gets their attention even more. Ryan, oh, wonderful. Yeah, I want to... Oh, that's me. Talk, Ryan. I want to... I'm just... Okay. Talking. It's on delay, though. I'm talking so that we can see if my caption will show up in the Facebook live stream. This has been an experiment. Okay, I'm waiting. And now we wait. Yeah, I'm waiting to see if... It's still me explaining. You have transcription to caption? Facebook does it. Oh yeah, I think there's a way to actually do that. That's good. It's, okay, I'm waiting to see. Well, let's just hope that right. supportlivemusic.org has us again. Yeah, I'm just I just never stop talking, so it's just me. It's amazing that it could, it does, it does that so well, you know, that it could understand us well enough. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm not going to I think it, yeah, I think it, I said something. Ryan, oh, wonderful. Yeah, I wanted, oh, wait, that's me. Wait, now I'm reading about me talking about reading the thing I'm talking about, reading I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we keep hitting new dimensions. All right, well, thanks, guys. I'm, I think I'm going to eat some pizza. And, I uh, want some of that pizza. Yeah, I, I want you yeah, to have some, too. Meet him outside when he leaves and get some pizza. We'll have to work on that part of the uh, Moss Box technology to where people can order like what they want to eat right on our control yeah, panel. Yeah. We could have like Mackie or somebody do, do, do yeah, food service. Smell it too. Oh, I can smell that pizza. It's got pepperoni on it. It's it's smell a vision. You should deliver it to you after you leave tonight. Well, I think it's time for me to turn into a pumpkin. I'm going to turn into a pizza pie. Yes. I'd like to thank Noreen for fun. liking our stream tonight. She's a little late to the party, but that's that's her to come. She makes it a point to swing by to know that wow. uh, that she's with the program. Cool. All right, well, good night, everybody. Good night. Uh, I don't know who's out. Oh, it looks like. Uh, all right, Betty. What? I thought, I thought we were all alone. There's, there's people still hanging with us. It's great. Barbara Fisher, thank you. Appreciate it very much. What a happy face, Ryan. I'm Betty, wonderful I'm seeing you. It was a great night. Greg Barone, nice, nice to see your name uh, passing the room, sir. Hope all, all is well there. I'm sure it is. You, Barones know how to keep things together. They thrive in chaos. Right? That's the way to go. Right, Richie? Yeah. Time for the other one. Make the most of whatever you got. Sounds good. All right. Dan and Christine, I don't know if they're still with us here. They're probably snoozing by now. But, uh... Well, I'm the only one up. Okay, Richie, take care. Here we go. Richie, here it comes. Here's what comes my finger right there. Here it comes. It's gonna hit the button, we're all gonna disappear, and I'm gonna be alone in this 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 big house, alone in this downtown. And then I'm gonna drive home and I won't be alone anymore. See you later. Everybody drive carefully. We'll do we'll do.